This Fast Thought is sponsored by the Canadian Health Food Association. CHFA are growing a community that empowers growth and is shaping the future of the health food industry. They are inspired by the belief that when we all do well, Canadians live well. So, uh, so maybe what I'll do, I'll okay. I I kind of want to hear more about the wedding and everything, but, oh, but maybe do let's let's kick this thing off and then and then we'll just get going and then we'll see what works into what. But you may wind up having some wedding details on that. <laughs> no worries. I'm more than happy to talk about the wedding. It was such a great turnout, so we got extremely lucky um, over the course of everything. And I realized I'm never getting married again. That was way too much work. I'm not the type in, to organize a wedding. So bless my friends and my family for just putting everything together for me. So yeah, luckily I got this one tied down because that was a, that it's was a, a wild production. ride. It's a big production. It's huge. Yeah. It really is. Yeah. You know, yeah. it doesn't have to be, but we seem to make <laughs> it into a huge production. Yeah, we ended up, and we originally wanted to elope. And then as soon as like our parents sniffed wind of that or like caught wind of that, oh. they were like, oh, like, no, maybe don't. Yeah. So we just took, we rented a really gorgeous cottage with a beach house, like on a yeah. lakefront yeah. down in Prince Edward County. And we invited 30 oh, of our wow. closest friends and family and we just like partied really? the whole weekend. So That's it nice. was, yeah. So we and got what a good wonderful taste weekend of for it. You the had best. An absolutely wonderful weekend. Yeah. Yeah. So we, yeah. we felt so grateful. So then it was actually like our friends and family really got a bond over the course of the weekend instead of just meeting, right. meeting them each for like yeah. a couple of hours. So no, yeah. now, now they're truly family, which feels awesome. God. That's awesome. God. Congratulations. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Big day. Yeah. It's a big day. Now, where are you going? Uh, we're going to Italy and then we're going to go to Poland. So my fiance is right. Polish. So he moved to Canada okay. at 13. So all of his family is still back home, like his cousins okay. and uncle. So we're going to go okay. and spend some time with them as well. well nice. Where in Italy? Italy, just south of Rome in like a really tiny town. We got lucky. We found this really cool bed and breakfast in like this old castle right under, like right surrounded by mountains and stuff. And with a five minute drive to the beach. So it's a very small town. Um, but we just want to relax and kick our feet up. I feel like business has Kicked, kicked my ass over the last two years, so it's going to yeah, be nice to unwind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So down toward yeah. down toward Chivitavec there, down toward like south south, or just um, Rome not, south. Just Rome. I think it's probably about forty five minutes south of Rome, I believe. So um, to be honest, my bless my fiance, he's planned the whole trip. I haven't looked into it at Lovely. all. So yeah, so it's going to be a big old surprise to me. It's not so bad, right? Like <laughs> well, I'm I'm to be on. That's I, a decent I one. heard. Bed and breakfast and beach. Yeah. yeah. All I heard yeah. was Italy, so that was good to go from yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great food. Yeah. That's, that's awesome. That'll do it. Thanks, yeah. guys. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Okay, so now into now into the to the meat and potatoes. What what's going on? What do you do? What do you, what are you trying to do outside of the wedding? So hang on, hang on. Let me just let me just uh because we've kind of rolled into well, this off for probably. people who are tuning in. We've got Becky Prime on. Um, she does Beck's Broth, um, and she's a CHFA Launchpad finalist. Um, I'm I'm betting we're going to keep most of that in. So so you just heard that she's got a few things going on. Just got married. She's going to be showing up at CHFA super refreshed. Um, <laughs> you know, maybe speaking a little more Italian um, than what she speaks now. Um, but uh, but but we thought we'd get her on before she runs away because she is a CHFA Launchpad finalist. And we thought um, I kind of get a little texture on who, who Beck is and, and what Beck's broth is. So um, so now, Kenny, ask your question, because now now everyone's tuned in. Oh, I, I got no question. <laughs> now, you know what, Becky? Tell us what you're doing. Tell us why you're doing it. Mm -hmm. um, and that's yeah. pretty much it. I'm just curious yeah. to see what this thing is. I just got samples the other day. Oh, um, good, I, good. And he's a judge, by the way. So yeah, yeah. Yes. I haven't, I haven't tried him yet, but I do have them. Yeah. So I am a registered holistic nutritionist, and I founded Beck Broth back in 2021. So we create a nourishing collection of products with great taste. So we've taken your favorite comfort drinks like bone broth and hot chocolate, and we've infused them with bone broth, so pasture raised bone broth. So. Now, every single day when you're having your say morning cup of coffee or evening hot chocolate, just to kind of unwind, you're getting a really nice amount of protein and vitamins, minerals, collagen, and all that good stuff. Yeah. And what yeah. type of what type of bone broth are you talking like? Yeah. Are you are yeah. pasture raised cattle? Yeah. Cattle. Yep. Okay. Yep. yep. And like I'm still trying to figure out, like, so 
Because when I got it, I, I took it out of the package and I thought, chocolate bone broth, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. And I kind of just, how, I, and it wasn't, that didn't scare me. I just kind of mm -hmm. looked, I thought, okay, I wasn't. No, I'm, I, I'm, I'm fascinated. Really but, but so what do I do with this when I get it? Like, so I, you said so, morning coffee. Yeah, so we just actually, um, we haven't launched our new product yet, but we're going into CHFA with the launch. So the first okay. day of CHFA is when we're going to officially launch the new product. Okay. Um, so it was packaged in glass jars, ready to drink. And then knowing that we really want to scale in the retail world, we needed to figure out a way to create an innovative product that is going to be shelf stable, easy to ship, transport, get on shelves yeah. in front of the consumer space. So I have little sample packs right here. So they're individual sachets. So this one here is our coffee. So all it is, it's just the plain pasteurized bone broth with instant coffee from a local um, a local coffee roastery down in Burlington. Um, so super clean ingredients. The chocolate, it's just um, the plain bone broth, organic cacao and raw, or, and sorry, we just switched it from raw honey to maple sugar. So just super clean ingredients. So all you do is open up the sachets and then dump them into one cup of water or milk and then just give it a little stir and you just have such a delicious and nourishing cup of yeah hot chocolate wow. or coffee yeah so you don't get any of the the brothy taste that comes with it it depends yeah. on like how how familiar you are with bone broth but you really don't get any of that taste i feel like the other flavors completely mask it and it just makes for a really nice creamy cup of coffee or hot chocolate Wow, super yeah, innovative and then highly functional adds to your yeah. day. Yeah, so we started this. I'm a registered holistic nutritionist. I graduated yeah. in the middle of the pandemic. I was in marketing before that. Okay. Um, and so I really want to specialize on gut health because whatever you're, whatever you're working with a client, you always start with gut health no matter where, no matter what's going on um, mm -hmm. with them and their body. So we always mm -hmm. diagnose what's going on in the gut first. So bone broth was always in my protocols for my clients and a lot of them just struggled. They had no idea how to enjoy it. It was such a foreign yeah. substance to them. They didn't know how to make it. So I really just started making bone broth for my clients. And it was one day in a meditation, I was like, Hey, make it taste like something that they want to drink every day. If you're going to, if yeah. you want them to drink this every day, they're not going to always want to eat a soup, especially if it's like summertime, like make it taste like something that they're already enjoying because they were having this problem of they didn't know how to incorporate into their daily routine. So it was like, boom. So we started with a hot chocolate and it was like, this is delicious. It just works. Like marrying these flavors together and the ingredients together, they just create something that is so nourishing um, for your gut and on a soul level. Like it's just, it's so brilliant to taste. Um, yeah. yeah. So that's kind of what led us there. So just, we found this interesting gap where nobody knew how to consume bone broth. Um, when really trying to restructure their gut. So we just tried to make it a little bit easy for them. I love it. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, you like it's a it's a totally different spin on coffee. We've seen we've seen functional drinks, right? So people mm -hmm. put turmeric and all sorts of things like that in there, but bone broth is one that I, I've never in a million years Yeah, yeah we broth. wouldn't have thought never of that at all. Years. Yeah. <laughs> I mean yeah. it's not because of anything because culturally I think we both come from cultures where bone broth is not uncommon. Yep. Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, making making a beef stock or a chicken stock is yeah. really not yeah. out in yeah. the world of, you know, my God. I mean, we used to fight for the marrow, my brother. Yeah, and I, right. But, so but hot it's chocolate. Not, but it's a chocolate. Yeah. When I got it, the first thing I opened, I thought, <laughs> huh? that's, yeah, that's well, because amazing, I'm thinking, man. wow, like that's yeah. strange and yet really interesting. But mm -hmm. uh, so I guess what I'm trying to, I guess what I would try to figure out is so how are, how are, um, I guess so where is it in stores and how are people figuring out yeah what to do with it? tricky yeah so right now we're in the kitchener farmers market i'm not too sure if you guys are both familiar with yep. that area so we're in kitchener yep. and guelph um so right now we actually do package it in glass jars. well we just stopped production last week but we were packaging it in glass jars and they were kept in the freezer section in retail so and okay. it works great for ready to consume you kind of take from the freezer you let it defrost and then you can have it in your fridge throughout the week yeah. but that was just it was a lot harder for people because glass jars and freezers can be a nightmare. I mean, that yeah. was really high up for us on our sustainability aspect because we are focusing on working with in a food, like an upcycled food, which was really important to us, the bone broth. And then we really wanted to create packaging that was that could be reused or recycled. Um, but then it was just really hard for us to scale. It was hard for us to stay or like be in production because I'm a one woman team. Like it was really hard for me to kind of keep up with the demand. So I think I'm really working on scaling this business, but then I was really getting nervous on okay well if i scale this business that's going to require so much more work in the kitchen so now that we have it um in a powder format we're going to be shopped in the um 
like the functional lattes part of the stores, the coffees, lattes, like the bloom products. And people will just be able to shop us yeah. from there. So it's going to be a lot easier. And now that we're working with a co-packer, so it's like, I feel a million times lighter that I don't need to be spending 40 hours yeah. in the kitchen anymore. So, yeah. Some simpler things there, right? So, well, mm -hmm. yeah, at least, at least it frees your time to do the things that you need to do. Yeah, definitely. And it just, it's, it's just going to open up our doors that we can really like focus on our e-commerce push yeah. and whatnot, because before we were able to do it locally and we had one courier system that was going to, that was able to ship all over Ontario. And then that was just, it was kind of hard, like just kind of shipping yeah. frozen products on your own. It's just yeah. not easy. Frozen, an easy is, feat, so. frozen products with other people is not easy. Yeah. Like shipping yeah. frozen is just not easy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. And shipping mm -hmm. glass is mm -hmm. not fun. It's a nightmare. It's a nightmare. Yeah, so really. I mean, we, we learned. Them. Yeah. 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 So we learned we just needed to pivot. If we wanted to grow in retail and really dominate in the beverage industry, we knew that we had to be right. convenient, easy to go, lightweight, shelf stable. Because if you feel like even our products was getting lost in the freezer as well, nobody was going to the freezer to find a yeah. functional coffee or a hot chocolate. Yeah. And that's truly what we are. So now we're going to be able to be on that shelf space in front of their face and be like, hey, like, come on, pick me up. So. You're better. You're better served too, right? I mean, um, kind of lone wolf in a freezer. Mm -hmm. is a really difficult i mean you're you're an ex-marketer so so you know like that's a tough spot gosh, like how many dollars mm -hmm. do you got to spend to shout that message right but at least yeah. now you're in a set where you've got like a bloom right who's doing functional things and that mm -hmm. helps you because it's the theoretically it's the same consumer or a similar consumer who knows now mm -hmm. i need coffee but i need something a little bit more i need something a little bit and then Any more protein bringing, yeah and you're bringing something functional to hot chocolate, which I don't think anybody's really done, right? Like mm -hmm. Bloom, Bloom has something out there, but I mean, otherwise yeah, we're adaptogens or herbs, you things, know, or, right? so, or things like that. Yeah. Flowers. Nobody. I don't. I don't know anybody combining yeah. um, a Go meat product. byproduct yeah, for yeah, sale, yeah, yeah. which is really mm -hmm. cool. An animal byproduct. Oh, it's just it's different. Okay. Penny, I can't wait for you to try it. I should have assigned you with the homework to try it before we hopped well, on. You should have. You know what? Now <laughs> I'm looking around and I'm thinking, I think Amelia put it away. I don't know where the hell it went. I know it no. Okay. Amelia, but your I wife's smart. She probably drank it all. <laughs> yeah, probably. You know. You and I think the, the biggest thing that surprises people about our product too is it just tastes incredible. Like I feel like one cup is almost never enough. I feel like in the beginning, especially because I'm in the farmer's market, I see I see people's facial expressions all the time when they read on my sign bone broth hot chocolate. They're like, oh, and they kind of like, Weird. they can't yeah. make that connection in their head because when they think of bone broth, they think of savory. They do not think of chocolate. And then it really, it only takes one sip and they're completely converted. They're like, oh like i see what you did here this is amazing yeah. so it's really just you need to if you're feeling a little skeptical try it and then you're completely converted it's just it yeah it just makes it's okay. really nice okay and then so right now you're you're in kitchener waterloo and yep. then are you are you starting to spread out or we are yes okay. so we decided to we put a stop on selling into wholesale wholesale stores back in march until we were able to launch this new product just because i didn't want to try and sell our frozen products yep. into new stores when yep. i just wanted to focus on the product development so i decided that as soon as um the product is ready to launch which is september 21st then we're really going to push hard into stores we want to migrate our way down to toronto the gta and really just trying to Try to sell into as many as we can so our goal is 35 by the end of this year um, okay. so i really hope we get that exposure at chfa i think will really help with that so we have we have our list of contacts that we're going to be going through and connecting with and we've already started that so a lot of people know that this product is coming in so i'm, I'm excited for when we can finally just so retailers that are watching this right uh, yeah you know what beck is looking for right like i think that's <laughs> sometimes <clears throat> sometimes when we go to these shows brands just assume that buyers know what mm -hmm. they want but mm -hmm. it's good to put it out there right beck's looking for folks in the gta so if you're a gta mm -hmm. retailer functional we're, category we're got a little you. bit <laughs> augmented right that like cool drink to have yeah like, and just everyone as singles or as they sold I was just in a gonna say, so we are selling them in a carton of 12. so at retail this will actually be able to like open up there's perforations here so yeah. it can open up and be shopped at retail individually or the customer can buy by the carton itself so and what's the retails um, of the carton and the, what's the carton retail the carton retail we're still finalizing the cost of, around that it's going to be about like 90 dollars per carton i believe um so still kind of wiggling and jiggling those numbers to make it okay. um 
And so an individual pack is what, like five ninety nine, six ninety nine, seven ninety nine. Um, yeah, upwards around the eight dollar, eight dollar mark. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Awesome. Yeah, Interesting. Awesome. yeah. It definitely is. We are marketing it as a premium product. We do know that individual servings is an eight dollar coffee. You can get an eight dollar Starbucks that is just loaded with sugars, artificial yeah. crap, or you can just yeah. get a product that is two ingredients that's going to give you that fifteen grams of protein and all the vitamins, minerals, collagen, and whatnot. So it definitely is more geared towards a premium, um, a right. premium market. Um, so yeah. So we, so we understand that price. Frills and and you know. No, we're like talking that. more like Healthy Planet, Home Food, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nature's Fair, Nature's, Nature's yeah. Emporium. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay, awesome. Yeah. Um, thank you Very for coming on and doing this. Very interesting. Yeah, thanks yeah. for making the time because I know you're yeah. probably got a pack and yeah. skedaddle. Yeah, well, I woke yeah. up this morning and I was still thinking because after we just played volleyball for I think like three straight days. Then I woke up this morning and I was like, I'm dehydrated. I don't even, I can't even look at numbers or speak real wor words right now. So I was, this is going to be my first like get back into reality. So thank you guys so much for having me and bearing with me here. I appreciate no. that. We're, we're glad you did it, but we're also sorry to bring you back to reality. You've got... <sighs> like a really really nice honeymoon <laughs> plan so what we hope is that you you're at chfa and you've still got that giant smile on and then yeah yeah the gta retailers <laughs> will be lining up at your doorstep get some rest yeah think some things through but try to enjoy yeah. your honeymoon enjoy yeah. the time right. off yeah and then we'll see at the chfa as well yeah absolutely thank you guys both awesome. so much okay no thank you all right thanks you so go much enjoy your day go pack yeah so you stick around Okay. <laughs> Bye, Becky. See you guys soon. Take care. Bye. Take care. Bye. Bye. All right. That's our launch pad finalist, Bex. Interesting. Yeah.